Doug and Joker. Uh, unfortunately, we're not able to ride this weekend, uh, but we still wanted to send you guys a video. Um, and today we want to talk about helmets. Um, Joker purchased a helmet about a year ago and has been trying to convince me to buy this helmet for about a year, ever since he got it. Uh, instead, I've been wearing my non-DOT brain bucket um, and I finally broke down and got the same helmet that he has and we want to talk about it, talk about the benefits of it and show you the differences between the helmets. So, for show. For show. For show. So here we go. Alright, let's see this first one you got. So the first one we have is going to be a Harley Davidson helmet. Um, as you can see, um, it's going to cause the mushroom head, which which everybody ac absolutely hates. Um, one thing to to note: all helmets look goofy, even when we show you the helmet that we have. I think it's just him that looks goofy. Yeah. <laughs> well, l uh, yeah. Let's just say that I look goofy in all helmets. Uh, and a lot of people probably feel that way like Joker said in one of his other videos he would tape the mic to his face if he could um, but you want to show them what that helmet looks like and it's so hard to, to strap the strap is like oh it takes you five minutes to you know pull it through this send it back in between pull it back through and now you got a musher so I've never really thought personally a lot about the thickness here but what I couldn't stand was how tall it was. There you go. <laughs> I couldn't stand how tall it was sitting up off, off of his head. Then people started pointing out about how thick this was. I will say that this helmet's probably, uh, it's about 12 years old, but they're still coming out looking like this. So this, it's, they still producing these helmets. And it's not a bad, it's not uncomfortable. It's just big. It's just it's big. Really I just big. feel like I've got like something on top of my head that's, if the wind hits it, I'm just gonna go that way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so our next helmet that we have that we want to compare it to is the one that I've been riding with, and it is gonna be the Brain Bucket that is non-DOT approved, and it looks like this. So I actually like this helmet. I like the way it looks. If I have to wear one, I'd rather have one like this. And uh, please don't share with anybody that it's actually not DOT uh, because, yeah, whatever. Stickers. This one does not give you the mushroom look. You still look goofy in the helmets to my point earlier, but uh, it doesn't look, it doesn't give the mushroom head look, feel. It's extremely light, but if you hit your head on Rains the, will go everywhere. <laughs> if you're unfortunately, you know, in an accident, you're probably not going to come out surviving in this one. So, and let's just say it's not that um, uh, it's not that bad. And you're just riding down the road, you could get a ticket. So, I've been thinking about that a lot lately. The more I'm the more I'm riding, all it's going to take, I'm going to get pulled over, and give it's you a over. Ticket. You want to get a ticket? This one actually has the quick attachments or quick release, uh, which is really cool. You just press a button and they come undone. Not a big, too big of a deal. I think everyone's problem is getting it in there. Yeah. Everybody gets it in sideways and then it gets stuck, or you know, it's just kind of trying to figure out how to, how to get it in there. Uh, it's not too bad of a deal once you get it in there, um, and then you just press the two two buttons and they come on. Yeah. Not too big of a deal. The quick release is really great. It's just hard to get in there. It's definitely a bump up. From this one it's quicker to it's quicker to fasten than this one is which you can add that piece to this helmet but you're right you do spend quite a bit of time sometimes trying to find get that. it in there right and squared away so this helmet is definitely smaller and the helmet that we're going to show you next is not any smaller than this i don't see how a dot approved helmet could be any smaller than this uh, but it does fit a lot better so the next one that we have is uh, a helmet that we got from knucklehead helmets yes and that helmet looks like this now so as you can see let's let's actually swap these around it's not as big as this one for sure it's, a, it's actually quite a bit smaller it's, it's not as small as this one it's somewhere in the middle but it does eliminate a lot of that mushroom look that this one has so 
our model, Lana, is going to show you what this looks like. It's a joker. <laughs> so you can see it doesn't it doesn't sit as high as the Harley brand does. It do, definitely doesn't come out as thick. I really like that. Uh, but I, I love this helmet. When he showed it to me, it looked good on him. Uh, you know, still goofy looking, but it looks pretty good. Uh, comparatively speaking to this one anyway and this one is actually the connections here is is basically a long stem that's got rivets in it and it's really hard I mean it's really easy it's really easy to find you just slide it up in there and lock it in there's a little tab right here on the side of it that they have they've come up with and all you gotta do is pull it and it comes right off Love I mean it. it's that simple a lot of people have the issue of what if you got to a comp uh, in a wreck would it come off no it won't come off we'll show you that here in just a little bit it won't come off um, any kind of jar or pull if you pull on it or if you pull on it what, whatever the case may be it's not going to come off unless you pull that tab and it's that simple easy love it looks good so I'm pretty much going to show you my helmet which is basically the same thing as this I just got it in the flat uh, flat black uh, here it is right here uh, mine looks especially a little goofy looking because I've went ahead and started adding my mic and uh, my mic adapter and all these things that won't be seen whenever the GoPro is sticking to the front of it but uh, he got the gloss black I got the flat back black and I absolutely love it it weighs nothing I mean it's so light it's super light I uh, love the quick release that's fantastic and uh, if you purchase you decide to purchase this helmet you still it still sticks up a little bit so don't think that it's going to look identical to this one but it's much better than what you're traditionally used to with the with the other brands and it is 100 percent dot approved wong cha-ching so there will be no ticket and hopefully if you're ever unfortunately in an accident um uh, this will protect you a little bit better and speaking of which, speaking of which, and the other one, and this one, it is a the exact same thing that we have. We, we just purchased this one that I've been riding with, one he just now got. This is the exact same thing. We both got it from Knucklehead Helmets from John Hollis. Um, it looks rough. If you can see this, it looks like it's been ran over. And guess what? It got ran over. It got runded it over. Runded it. Runded it. And they done the, run over it. And it survived. It did not pop off. Uh, the inside of it still kind of stayed together. Everything, yeah, there's a little small damage to the inside of it, but that's that's the inside of one of these helmets, the knucklehead helmets. Uh, you still got all the padding on the inside. Um, we knocked that piece off just so you could actually see the inside of it as well uh, once it came off because once it had the damage to it that was all still stuck together but now you can kind of see the inside of it to kind of see where your your head was um, it, and the best thing about it is that's Cavalier anybody ever knows anything about Cavalar that's what the police SWAT team cert team that's what they use in their vest uh, military personnel that's Cavalar and that's if you can so notice high. in the inside there's no damage to it there's you, you'll see the little cracks and stuff this is ran over by car by a vehicle that was ran completely over that done like a, a spin out on top of it but to the damage versus what it really impacted is nothing. So we know for sure that it is definitely DOT approved. And this will save your brain. Um, it is uh, pretty impressive. I, I thought it was anyway. I didn't know that it had the Kevlar and everything that was on the inside of the helmet. I'm very impressed. Love it. Like it. And that's the reason why it's light. Try that on. Oh, let me try this on. Let me let me see. Without the stuff. There we There's go. the stuff and right there. <laughs> There's the stuff and right there. That's all you need. You don't need the inside stuff. It's what you need right here. 
that's again nice. this is the one that's got the, nice. the locks it just slides right on in uh, to release it pull the strap comes right out either way let's do a test I'll put my new helmet on with the strap the quick release you put that one on all right we're gonna do a test we're gonna do one of these redneck tests again Scientific experiment. Oh, uh, I guess you're gonna go ahead and start. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, because I, I need I need to cheat. Hey, hold on! Don't 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 snap oh. you. Yeah, I got I got to put mine on now. What are you doing? Don't be cheating. What, what are you talking about? Oh my God! Look at that over there. You go ahead with it. Oh God! That's it, bro. Ah. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's speed taking it off. All right. Ready? Ready? Go. go. Ah. <laughs> almost beated you almost beated you so that is it guys don't record me without my hat on that's what i've told my wife you're so pretty i'm so pretty i'm such a girl <laughs> <laughs> so where can you get these helmets at first let us say that we are not paid by n we're getting nothing from this video they did not send us these helmets for free they did not ask uh, them to promote us we're doing this video for you guys if you're if you wear the the half helmets and you're tired of that mushroom head look you're still going to have it just a little bit uh, but nowhere near as bad as you would have it um, if, if you buy these helmets um, so we're not in we're not sponsored by them anything like that this is strictly for you we found something that we really like and we wanted to share it with you um, so where can they get them uh, where you can get them at is uh, it's called knucklehead helmets uh, they have a Facebook if you look at knucklehead helmets with an s it's K N U C K K C K L E H E A D that's knucklehead one word helmets H E L M E T S uh, look it look it up uh, if you want to email or send a text or call John Hollis his phone number is 423-595-0101 his email address is knuckleheads or knucklehead helmets at gmail.com find us on Facebook you might want to pause this. Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and smash it! <clears throat>